He was a guy that on offense they were talking about as a recruit, being a potential impact player, difference mm -hmm. maker. Can he be the same type of impact defense, difference maker on defense? Well, I'm excited about him. I think that um, he's a guy that um, he, he's conscientious about learning his job. He's um, He's got some size to him. He's fast. He showed up in a scrimmage the other day being reckless as far as, you know, being explosive, you know, contact on the ball and the ball carrier. And, um, you know, looking forward to working with him. Do you have a good sense about a guy's tackling ability, or is that more learned? Um, you know, you do got to learn how to do it as far as angles and those kind of things. But as a general rule, you can tell if a guy's a willing guy, you know, and he's certainly willing. And um, he's a guy that um, can, I think, make the open field tackles you need to make to be a uh, productive safety in, you know, any defense. Ramika came out of kind of nowhere in terms of a guy that wouldn't get many snaps, so we didn't see him on the field that much uh, on defense. Uh, is there a guy you have now uh, that, that you can see kind of breaking out in the next, uh, between here and September? I mean, that'll all be dependent upon how they work. I think we got a lot of really young players. I think we're probably the youngest team in the country. Like I said, we got a lot of freshmen and sophomores that are playing. Um, so that means their ceiling to get better is pretty good. Um, so we'll continue to work and develop those guys and, um, and see how they progress and certainly look forward to, you know, working with them not only through the rest of the bowl, but then get them in spring practice and develop their skill craft that way. Um, I would say that there's quite a few guys that I think you'll continue to see improve, um, you know, kind of like Ramik has. And, you know, I think Ramik's a good example of a guy that just kept grinding. And then, you know, he got his opportunity, but he also got it a little bit down the road. And um, he um, he's certainly taken advantage of it and made a lot of plays for us. You started so many different guys in the back end uh, in mm -hmm. terms of uh, you know, freshmen and sophomores. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a good handle of, of who your best players are, or is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, but it's just I been do. more a matter of injuries before, while you're having um, so many? Some of it is, yeah. I mean, um, you know, when you go back to the beginning of the season, I mean, like, for example, if you start out at the, the, uh, the field corner, I mean, you know, Shaq was kind of banged up. And uh, I thought Langley deserved the right to play based upon the way they had prepared, you know, as the season went along. And as the season went along, the credit to Shaq is he kept working hard and improving. And um, I felt like he earned the right to play. Um, and, and I think he's played pretty good when he's been in there. And he's shown a, a ability to get better each play, whether it be practice or game. We'll continue to do that. I think Langley's a guy that has continued to work and, um, you know, can see him continuing to improve. Um, and then when you go to the other corner, you know, Damian's a guy that played for us inside. Uh, we kind of kept Josh inside a little bit more this year relative to the corner situation. So Damian played outside. Um, I think I think Damian's a guy that can do both moving forward. When you go to safeties, um, you know, first off is a guy, Trey. Trey was a guy that when he came in, uh, I thought he had a really good spring. I think he's been nagged by injuries, you know, and, uh, and really he's missed probably three quarters of the season because of a hamstring, which is unfortunate, and you don't want to see that happen. Uh, he's obviously got to continue to work and develop, and if he does that, um, we'll, we'll find ways to get him on the field. I think Corey Moore's a guy that's really been a guy that um, has kind of improved each game, and um, you know, I think he's a guy that, that has shown a little bit of leadership throughout the season. So uh, looking forward to him continuing to develop that. And then, you know, Quincy, you know, Quincy's a guy that, um, uh, it kind of plays both and kind of come on as a freshman and has really done a good job of learning both systems. He can play multiple either thing. And I think that the arrow is up on him to continue to improve. And then Josh, the guy I thought that played better as the season went along. He made some plays in the latter, latter games for us. Uh, he can play up as a nickel. He can play in the back. So he gives you some flexibility there. So, you know, I mean, all those guys are really young players. And I think that their, their, their ceiling to improve is, is pretty good. Um, I think it's just a matter of getting snaps on the field. And, uh, you know, whether you're a strong or free, they're really interchangeable. There's no such thing to, as an in-the-box safety anymore because of formations and, and offenses. I mean, you're, you're really a, a left safety, right safety, because you got to be able to do the equal things. And, uh, you know, because the way we're structured, guys can play either one. And I think then when you can add, you know, a Tremel Terry, you know, to that group, um, you know, I think we can have some flexibility. Is the, the guy, because he did not 